I am quite the Hannah Witten fan and while I was on holiday she posted something on Instagram about a play called A Very Expensive Poison and I think the writer of it or maybe the producer or director or something and it included a little deal that if you booked by the 20th of August you could get £20 tickets for the equivalent of usually much more expensive tickets so I thought that sounds good. So I came back from my holiday on the 19th of August at night. So I had one day to potentially book this ticket and I didn't know if I wanted to simply because money. And then I just thought it seemed so cool, the idea of the play, it's meant to be a bit alternative. So I thought it will be interesting for 20 pounds. I could probably get quite good seats. Decided to have a quick look online, managed to find a ticket for tonight, front row. So I booked it. I have no idea if the front row is actually gonna be good or if I'm gonna be straining the whole time, but we'll see. I'm very interested. I've never sat in the front row before for any show, so I'm kind of excited about that. And I'm quite excited to see it. I know very, very little about it, but I'll keep you guys posted. It's meant to be quite good. I've heard good reviews, so we'll see. As per always, I was there much too early. That is something I very much recommend. That was amazing. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it properly tomorrow because it's now midnight and I'm gonna get home and sleep. But that was brilliant. That was so amazing. I'm in awe. That was really incredible. I so highly recommend it to anyone who loves anything. History, theater, science. I mean, it was amazing. So the whole theater experience was brilliant. Like they were just so friendly and nice and helpful and kind and uh, wonderful stuff. Okay, so last night I saw a very expensive poison and it was amazing. I know I've ranted a little bit already, but I'm just gonna quickly talk a little bit more. I went in knowing very little about it. I quickly looked it up and read something I think to do with a spy maybe I read and that seemed interesting to me and mostly what I saw I think was Hannah Witten's post on Instagram about it being a little bit alternative and not your usual style of theatre. So I thought that sounds interesting. So I got an email from the old Vic a couple of hours before I was going saying uh, we're doing refurbishments, it's all a bit different, if you enter here you have to go here and blah 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 and I was like okay cool I have no idea what to expect I've never been to the old Vic before and it was amazing I loved what they did with it even though it was under refurbishments the toilets were sort of on the side but it was a cute way they did it really clever and also during interval they made it very accessible and very easy for everyone at least in the stalls I don't know about everyone else. The staff were wonderful, they were so lovely and it took a little bit longer to get the house open so it only opened at I think like 10 past 7 but they were all being really sweet, really nice, very apologetic, it was fine. Oh by the way they were handing out chocolates once you went to the bathroom, it was weird you walked out and they'd be like do you want a chocolate? Anyway nice experience. Then the first act, it was hilarious, brilliant, fantastic, so different to anything I've ever seen before and I really, really loved it. Then we got to Interval, and I never get ice cream when I go to see a show or any snacks or anything, but I thought, do you know what? I've already treated myself this much. Let's see how much the ice creams are. I'm used to Australian prices, so three pounds for an ice cream seemed reasonable. So I got one, and I'm not gonna explain sort of why this happened, but something happened, and as a result, I got a second one for free. So, Thank you very much, Old Vic. I double checked with the staff and they said, nope, that's our policy. I meant to give it to you, please take it. I said, great, thank you. The second act was somehow better than the first by miles, but the first one was already so amazing. So that's just telling you something about the standard. It was much funnier, to be honest. It, was, it had a lot more humor or maybe the audience just warmed up, I don't know. And there was a lot of breaking of the fourth wall, which was done brilliantly, so well, and I loved it the way they did it. And at one point, one of the characters made fun of the fact that people were spending four pounds on a program. It was just brilliant, really hilarious. At the end, there was sort of a hard-hitting moment, which I'm not gonna spoil, but it was very interesting and very amazing. And the way I would describe the whole show is comedic yet poignant, because it was just so, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it was, it's something you just need to go see. I really feel it's something everyone in London should experience. And the actors are also just amazing. And the set, it was, the only thing about the set was that 
you could see it was still they were still getting used to it because I was it was the second day of preview so that's fine but you could see it wasn't going quite as smoothly as I'm sure it will later in the run but it was still a brilliant set brilliant acting brilliant lighting brilliant everything everything about it was just so so well done and for anyone who loves history or theatre or anything along those lines like I said before go see it I've just quickly pulled up the old Vic website on my computer and I'm just gonna like you know what it actually says it's about. Oh, apparently it's based on a book by Luke Harding. Didn't know that. A shocking assassination in the heart of London. In a bizarre mix of high stakes global politics and radioactive villainy, a man pays with his life. At this time of global crises and a looming new Cold War, a very expensive poison sends us careering through the shadowy world of international espionage from Moscow to Mayfair. John Crowley directs Lucy Preble's reimagining of Lou Harding's jaw-dropping expose of the events behind the notorious death of ex-FSB officer Alexander Litvinenko. Did I pronounce that right? Anyway, I just really highly recommend anyone to go see this. I think the whole theatre experience was really great and sometimes you take a chance and it goes terribly wrong but in this case everything from the moment I booked the tickets till after I left was fantastic. And that wasn't just because of the play or the people involved in the play, it also had to do with the theatre and I think really the whole overall experience was fantastic. To be fair, I was sitting in the front row and that's always going to give me a better feeling, especially if I've only spent £20 on it, but regardless, I also just looked and apparently they sometimes have £10 tickets for previews, so I'll definitely be back to the Old Vic. I don't know if I'll necessarily be back to the show simply because I don't have money, but I would love to because it's an incredible show and it's I'd love to see how it does later in the run because like I said I could see they were still getting used to it but aside from that it was great just so you can note it down if any of you care I saw it on Wednesday the 21st of August so bye